Hello, Irene. How did the date go last night? Wasn't it amazing? Um, hello? Who am I talking with? Oh, my bad. It's me, Adam, here. This is the single, funny, charming guy you've been texting with for two months on Tinder here. Oh. Hi, Adam. But how can you know my number? I didn't remember it that we exchanged phone numbers. Oh. <laughs> Last night I asked for your phone number, and you denied me just because you were shy, right? So when you went to the restroom, I used your phone to call mine because I was very satisfied with you. Um, didn't you think it was a little bit arbitrary? Oh, don't be so serious. I just want to give you a chance to get closer. But hey, why couldn't I text you on Tinder? Is there anything wrong? Oh, I think I slid my hand so I coincidentally deleted you from my list. You should be more careful. Luckily, I saved your number in time. <laughs> Yeah, so luckily. But did you get home safely last night? Yeah, I got an Uber car. I know I had a car and should have taken you home on the first date. But your house was on the opposite side of town from mine. If I took you home, it would be a waste of gas and time. Besides, we couldn't be sure if this relationship was going anywhere, right? So wasn't it most logical for you to go home alone? Well, I understood it. Don't worry. Anyway, I have no intention of having a second date with you. Yeah, you're right. We shouldn't go out to eat again on the second date. It was too expensive. Maybe we should go to the movie theater. What are you talking about? I mean that we're not compatible to meet again. And you chose that restaurant, right? I am the one who paid for last night's dinner, not you. Yeah, but it was very reasonable, wasn't it? Whoever orders is the one who has to pay. Besides, I did pay for my share. Yeah, you paid for the salad. That's all. Because the rest was what you ordered. I just helped you eat leftovers so they wouldn't go to waste. Because you gave me the menu. I ordered them for the two of us. Also, I think you need to change your eating habits. It doesn't show good breeding for a girl to eat too much too quickly. That was the first time I saw a girl on a first date ordering a steak, a hamburger, and a pizza. You should only eat salad and fruit to keep fit. I'm not a vegan. Besides, I just ate a lot of meat like that once a month. Huh. I guess that's acceptable. But yesterday, you didn't say much. It wasn't like when we were texting. Oh. That was because I am a very good listener. It was not totally because you constantly bragged and talked only about yourself. That's nice. I like you more and more. The girls I've dated before aren't as friendly and considerate as you. They were totally rude and always interrupted me when I was talking about my wonderful work and life. You're really close to my ideal type. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I don't know if this is good or bad, but thank you. That's good. I'll give you a chance to have a second date with me. You should feel proud, because this is my first time giving someone a second date with me. Um, thank you for your invitation, but I'm quite busy now. I lost a cloth doll that is very important to me, and I need to find it so I can't go with you. Would that be a tiny rabbit doll with a red bow on its ear? Yes. How can you know it? Well, I'm keeping it right here. I found it under the table yesterday, but no one was looking for it, so I put it in my pocket. But aren't you too old to play with dolls? It must have fallen out of my purse when I went to the restroom. I know, but it was a present for my grandma. She made it for my fifth birthday ever since I always bring it with me. Thank goodness you're keeping it. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what to do. So, when can you give it back to me? Hmm, I don't know. I was supposed to give it to you on the second date, but you turned me down. You make me sad, so I'll probably end up throwing the doll out. Oh no, please don't. I'm willing to ransom it. Please, just 
Please don't throw it away or damage it. It's not about money. You hurt my self-esteem. No one has ever dared turn me down. Oh no, I... I didn't mean to refuse you. Last night was the best date I've ever had. You are the most handsome, charming man I have ever talked to. So, can you forgive me and give me a second date? Well, lucky for you that I'm a generous and easygoing person. So I'll give you a second chance. However, since you were rude, I can't just give that doll back for nothing. Don't get me wrong, I'm not asking for ransom. But shouldn't you be showing a little gratitude for helping you get your doll back? If it weren't for me, some kid would have found the doll and ruined it. Yes, I know it. I'd be very grateful if you could give it back to me. If you're being sincere like that, that's fine. We'll meet at 7 p.m. tomorrow at the Central Cinema. Is that okay? Yes, I will be there on time. Please remember to bring the doll with you. Don't worry. I promise to return it to you safe and sound. Thank you so much. Well, see you later. I hope you won't let me down. I really don't like your behavior today. You need to be more careful next time. Excuse me? Obviously you're the wrong one here. How can you blame me when I did you such a favor? Remember, if it weren't for me, that ragged cloth doll would have been history. Hey, Adam. I'm grateful to you for helping me take care of the doll, but that didn't mean you were allowed to touch me in the cinema like that. Your hand directly touched my thighs without my permission. I thought you would just misplace your hand, so I lifted it and told you not to do it again, but you kept putting your hand in it. Oh, come on. I know you wanted it. Why were you wearing a short skirt if you didn't want to? Only spoiled girls wear that kind of stuff to meet a man. I know you did that to get my attention. What I want to wear is my right. You can't blame me for that. Besides, I only agreed to this date just to get the doll back. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, finally. Glad that you get my point. Clearly, you need to demonstrate your value. You didn't want me to think that you were an easy woman. <laughs> you did very well, Irene. No, Adam. That's not what I mean. But if that's what you wanted, then shouldn't you have told me? Why did you just leave like that? Do you know how awkward it was for me to stand there all alone? Well, I thought it was odd enough that the staff asked us out of the theater because you didn't buy popcorn and soda at the theater but hid it in your jacket. That was your fault, though, wasn't it? You were the one who kept acting annoyed and making noises, so the staff noticed and found out. I do that all the time. But they never noticed until now. You did it all the time? Unbelievable! What's wrong? Don't you agree the prices are outrageous? And it's not even clean here. It's just better to bring snacks from home, so you can save money and be sure it's clean. You should also learn to save money, like me. Well, thank you, but I don't think I need it. I just don't think it can be such a huge difference like this. What's the difference? Well, when we texted on Tinder, the way you texted was very funny, polite, and gallant. Then, the first time we met, I was very... shocked. <laughs> I knew it. I look much better than in the pictures, right? Ugh. No, I don't mention your appearance. It's not important to me. But a little too confident in yourself and being black and white. But when I thought about it... It quite made sense that we had just met for the first time. Anyway, I don't want to owe anyone anything. Then, the date today totally made me disappointed. From my perspective, you are too patriarchal, imposing, miserly, and disrespectful. What? Hey, I understand you're mad at me because I didn't give you the time to show your value. But talking to me like that is outrageous! You're doing very well, so don't let me down. What are you talking about? I don't get it. Why do you keep talking like the examiner is evaluating the candidate? Well, I think you're pretty qualified. You just need to improve some points. The first is your diet. You can't eat meat anymore, only vegetables and fruit. 
I like petite girls. The second is about how to dress. You'll not be allowed to wear short skirts or sexy clothes when going out on the street anymore. I don't like other men looking at you. Adam, what are you talking about? What did you satisfy about me? Qualified or what? Yeah, never interrupt me when I'm talking. You need to readjust your way of speaking when angry. I want an obedient, dutiful, and submissive wife. This will be the first and last time I allow you to criticize me like that. Stop! Can you tell me what's happening here? Why do you have to ask me to change it to your liking? Ah, I didn't tell you, right? You passed my family's survey and were officially accepted as my wife. You're awesome because my mom likes you so much. What? Your mom? I have never met her. How could she know me? Oh, you still don't get it? The person who talked to you on Tinder was my mother. Girls before dating me will have to talk to my mother first. I can only go meet with them with my mom's permission. Also, my parents were sitting at the table next to us on the first date and watching you. They said you were a very disciplined and resourceful girl. What? Your mother? Oh my god, I'm so confused here. Oh, don't worry. She liked you a lot. But there is one more condition. Every day I go to work. My parents have to stay home alone, and that's not okay at all. So after we get married, you'll have to quit your job and stay home to care for my parents and children. Oh, hey, hey, slow down. Who said that I'm going to marry you? You did. Aren't you in love with me too? You even begged me to give you a second date. You are either misunderstanding or you are deliberately not understanding. I just went to the date today to get the doll. I had no intention of getting close to you in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Willows are weak, yet they bind other wood, right? You really know how to make me love you more. But there's no time to play this game. My parents have just informed our relatives that our wedding will be held next week. Tomorrow, I'll take you to try on the wedding dress. Remember to choose the cheap one. I tried to be patient to treat you kindly, but it seems to give you the illusion of your position. Oh, I should have beat you up at the theater. I never said I would agree to marry you. We're not even lovers. I don't even want to be friends with you. What on earth makes you think that I'll marry you? What are you talking about? I would like to confirm again that I will never have feelings for a stingy, backward, and mama's boy like you. Never. How dare you talk to me like that? I won't forgive you. I'll make you regret leaving a perfect man like me. <laughs> I don't care. I'd rather be single for the rest of my life than marry you. Damn, weak. I should have thrown away your doll. Do you think I wanted to touch that filthy doll? I don't understand why you'd want to keep trash like that around. Don't act like you're superior here. What? So it didn't fall on its own, but you rummaged through my bag? Oh no, you messed with the wrong girl. You'll pay for this soon. Pfft, and what are you gonna do? You're nothing. So your mother must have forgotten to tell you about my job? I'm a famous YouTuber with over one million followers on social networks. And you'll be the first I warn girls to stay away from. Let's see if your family can fool anyone else after this time. No way, that's impossible. No one's going to believe you. I'll tell them you made everything up because you love me, but I rejected you. So you wanted to hurt me. Well, that restaurant, coincidentally, is the one I opened with a friend. So it's easy for me to get the video from the security camera that you rummaged through my things. No way. You can't do this to me. Oh, no. I have to do this. I won't let any other girl go through the same disgusting situations as me again. Hey, bitch. Come back here. You can't do this to me. My God, you're an ungrateful bitch. Then, my video of Adam went viral on social media. In the comment section, many girls also shared that he had cheated on them like that. He kept texting me to annoy me, 
and even threatened to harm me. So I reported it to the police, and he was banned from approaching me within a one kilometer radius. It's fortunate that I was able to raise the alarm in time so that other girls wouldn't have to experience such bad things.